inside takeaway, huh? Yep, I've helped many golfers with this action. So today's video, we're going to talk about how to fix that inside takeaway. Now I know what you're thinking. Matt Fitzpatrick takes it away inside. John Rahm takes it away inside. Yeah, but they are major champions and they have other things in their golf swing and matchups that work with their inside takeaway. But you, you my friend, you're the one hitting the big carve to the right. You're the one hitting the big pulls into the water. So you shouldn't be having that inside takeaway. So what we need to do is we need to get that golf club to work back up in front of us. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that today. There's two things that happen with an inside takeaway that I commonly see. And that is a player who gets their golf club super far inside, the balance of the golf club now, as they continue turning, goes super far across the line. And then a couple of things happen. A player will either get stuck underneath and hook it. A player might actually start to feel like they need to rotate to get this golf club back in front. Steep shaft, they have to hang back on that back foot. They cut across it. They lose that ball out to the right. Or they come over the top so badly, they go in and they come over the top so badly because there's nowhere else to go. They hang back again and they start to pull it way left. If you're a golfer who has those three different ball flights, you're in a world of trouble. And let me tell you this, it is much easier to play this game with a takeaway that is more out in front than in behind. The best players in the world and the majority of the best players in the world will take that golf club away whereby at P2, as we call it, shaft parallel to the ground, we're going to see that golf club sitting in line with the hands with a nice club face position. You rarely see golfers who get the golf club inside play very well. Yes, some of them do, but not all of them. So what causes a club to work too far inside? Well, in my opinion, I think golfers have a concept on if they want to draw a golf ball, right? They think, well, I've got to get my golf swing to come from the inside, which is to a degree correct. I wouldn't say it needs to come this far into out, but by doing that or by thinking that, what they actually do is they start their golf swing with a feeling of, I'm going to get this swing to move inside straight away. Now, what you can see here is the golf club's way too far inside me. And again, two things happen. We can get to the top with a lot of depth and, and you know we've done what we needed. However, there's nowhere to go. If I start to come down from here, what could happen is I could get trapped too far inside. So when the shaft's parallel to the, to the ground, that club's way too far inside my hands. And what happens from here is we either chunk it way back here, or we maybe we block it, maybe we hook it. So there's a, there's a number of different things that will happen from that inside takeaway. The other thing that a golfer will do with that same thought process is, I'm going to hit a draw. So I'm gonna whip it inside early, but then they know that they can't really come from the inside too much. So what they do is they start to actually get this golf club to get over the top. So now we're in trouble again because we're either going to continue turning and we pull it or we're going to hang back. We're going to carve across the golf ball and that ball sails out to the right. So you can see why an inside takeaway is so detrimental to the recreational golfer. So the other reason why that club gets inside is not only is the concept of I need to draw it incorrect, what, what that actually causes is the wrists don't actually work in a vertical fashion. So what I mean by that is when a golfer gets their golf club stuck inside, what they'll typically do with their hands is they'll roll the hands in a what I'd call like a clockwise direction. Okay, so they roll that, that, those arms to the right for a right-handed golfer. And what you'll see there is the hands don't actually, or the, you know, the hands and the wrist don't really, what we call cock, right? Or hinge upwards. You'll see that the, the club just rolls inside. Can open the face, gets the club way behind us. So what you're gonna notice here is there's none of that moving, uh, moving into our backswing. So enough with all the negativity, right? We've got the concept of, I need to hit a draw. That's potentially why clubs go way inside. We've got the, uh, the, the, the swing floor where that player will roll their hands way too far inside. 
which doesn't allow the hands to hinge upwards. So what we're going to do is we need to do two things in our backswing. We need to turn and we need to hinge, okay? So what these two look like is this. If I just turn in my backswing, my golf club is going to move slightly in, okay? Now, if I kept turning without hinging my hands, you're going to notice that that club moved inside my hands again, okay? Now, I've got a very good body position. My, my body is turned very nicely. However, the golf clubs move too far behind me. Why does that happen? Well, because I haven't added any of this vertical hinge. So I can't just hinge because I need the golf club to move back and I can't just turn because I need the club to, or the, the, the club only works behind me. So I need to blend both of those together. So I need to have a turn and a hinge. So I practice hinge, turn, hinge, turn, and I wanna combine those two until my club gets to parallel. And there you have it. I have a club that is in line with my hands. You'll see my, haven't, my hands haven't traveled that far as well, okay? And that club's already at parallel to the ground. Now, the center of mass of the club is now, I, I'm in control of that. It's no longer back here. I'm in control of the center of mass right here. So again, hinge up, turn, combine the two. And there's my takeaway. That's how you're going to master a perfect takeaway. From here, we would want to just continue that golf swing to the top. And by starting the golf swing in the right way, we're going to manage the, uh, the center of mass of the golf club or the balance of the golf club. It's going to be much easier to control all the way to the top of the golf swing. Now, if you struggle with that on its own, here's a good drill for you. I give this drill to a lot of my players. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take my seven iron. It depends on what club you're using. You can grab your nine, eight, seven, six, doesn't really matter, but seven iron is my club of choice here. I'm going to place my seven iron directly behind my golf ball, just like this. Okay, and I'm gonna try and lay it there as straight as possible. Let me double check that. That's pretty good. So what we have here is we have two lines. We have our feet line, which is this white alignment stick on the ground. And we have what I'd call our bowl line, which is where the, the golf ball is and my golf club is. That's the bowl line. So what I wanna do here is lay that seven iron down. And if you're struggling with getting the club too far inside during the backswing, about half a foot inside the bowl line, okay, I'm going to place this alignment stick. So I basically just put my foot there and about here is half a foot inside. Okay, roughly about here. I'm going to place the stick in the ground at the same angle as my seven iron sits at a dress. So you can see that I can now take the golf club away. Just check that that angle is correct. Roughly correct, all right, it's close enough. And what I'm going to be able to do here is if I was, if I was to get this golf club to work inside too much, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that stick time and time again. You might even have such a bad inside takeaway you get it too far inside. But again, look at what happens to my hands. I haven't hinged my hands at all. So what I need to do, let me just fix this up. And also the reason why I put this alignment stick at the distance that I have is because if I move too far away, if I put that stick too far away, I can't hit it anymore. So I put it far enough back so that I can hit it with my golf club. So what I've now got is a, a, is a bit of a training aid, a bit of a visual where I can just get this golf club to work more in front of the hand. So again, we wanna add that turn and we wanna add the hinge. And what we get with both of those movements is a takeaway that gets the club inside my, or in line with my hands. Just waiting for that plane. So if you're working on your game and, and you wanna make sure that that takeaway is in a good spot, this is a great drill for you to, to work on. If you're scared about maybe hitting the stick or, or injuring yourself or, or hitting it with your golf club, you could put a pool noodle over the top of that stick, works really well. That way if you do crash into it, it doesn't harm anything. But really feel like we're hinging up, we're turning, and those two combined 
are going to get that golf club in a really good spot. Once you've done it with the stick enough times, what you can do is just, you know, get rid of that stick and try and do the same movements without the stick, okay? Because ultimately, that stick was stopping me moving the club from the inside, so I want to take away the training aid, and I want to try and apply that same movement or that same feel without that stick there. So I'm really imagining that it's there. You might even want to exaggerate to a point where the, where the club head is outside the hands. Maybe that's something you need to do. If you're a chronic inside takeaway player, you might want to exaggerate and get that club a little outside and then go ahead and hit a golf shot. As you can see there, nice little flight, nice divot. All in all, pretty good shot. Got that club to set nicely up in front of my hands and I didn't lose it behind me. So there you have it, crew. Very, very simple and effective way to stop that golf club whipping inside in my backswing. Creates the golf swing to be a lot easier for you. You're not fighting the, the mass and the balance of the golf club. And hopefully that's going to allow you to hit much more straighter shots get better contact and enjoy the game more.